Today we're finally going to start using clay. Before we start our actual project, today is going to be a day to practice getting used to different clay techniques and how clay feels when you work with it. First, you'll want to squeeze your clay to warm it up. Once you've done that, our first clay technique is something called wedging, which is basically like kneading your clay as if it were a piece of bread. You flatten it out on the table, pick it back up, and flatten it again. We do this to make sure that there are no air bubbles, because if you have air bubbles trapped in your clay, when we put it in the kiln, the air will expand because of the heat and your clay might explode. It could even break other people's clay next to it. So wedging is a really important step. Now we're going to practice making some forms. You're going to roll your clay into four spheres that get smaller and smaller in size. Don't worry if you struggle with this at first. This is why we're having a practice day. You can roll the clay between your hands or you can roll it on your table or if you figure out another way to make spheres that works better for you, go with that. This is your chance to really get comfortable with clay. There is no right or wrong way to do this. What I want you to do is figure out what you like best. And here are my four spheres. They're not perfect, but they're pretty good and I'm happy with them. Now we're gonna try something a little more challenging, making a cube. You'll start by making a sphere and then you will press or hit the sides of the sphere against the table until you have something that looks like a cube or like a die. Your next job is to try to make a cone or a pyramid. This one's really hard. I started by rolling out a coil and then flattening it against my table and then slowly smoothing it out with my fingers. There's a lot of different ways to do it and don't worry if this one is too challenging. I just threw it in there because sometimes it's fun to try. Your next job is going to be to roll out a coil. You'll start just by rolling it out against the table like you're making a breadstick. See how long and thin you can get it though. Keep rolling it gently. So what do you think of mine? I think it's pretty long and thin now and if I roll it anymore, it's probably gonna break in half. So I think I'm done. Your next job is gonna to be to roll two shorter coils. We'll be connecting these after you're finished rolling them. Once you're done rolling them, get up and get a cup of water for slip. Make sure you don't fill it up to the top, only to the black line, and a couple of clay tools. We're going to start this process of scoring, slipping, sticking, and smoothing, which we use to connect all pieces of clay so they don't fall apart. Now we're going to start scoring the pieces that we want to connect. When you score, you'll use a pointed clay tool to draw little overlapping lines like a hashtag or like a cat scratch on all parts of clay that you're going to connect. Remember I said we're going to connect the coils? So you're going to want to score both of the coils on one side because we're going to be connecting them together using slip. Our slip today is just going to be the cup of water. So you'll put it on both sides and then we're gonna stick. Stick them together, pressing gently, making sure that all parts are touching. And then we'll use some slip to smooth it out. The goal with smoothing is to make it look like one piece of clay rather than two that you connected. So the seam should become invisible. And if somebody who wasn't in this room looked at it, they would have no idea that it started out as two separate pieces. Mine looks kind of like an eel, doesn't it? Now we're going to connect the other forms where you scored. So add slip, stick them, and then smooth them again with slip. Sometimes with forms that are different shapes, it can be harder to smooth them out. So don't worry if you can tell that they're two separate pieces still. Once you've made all of your forms, you can just play more with your clay. See how it feels to connect different things? Try making different forms and sculptures. 
You will be giving this clay back though, so don't make anything that you plan on keeping. This is just practice. To clean up, put a little bit of the water you use for slip on your table, and then rub it into the clay with your fingers so that it all becomes liquid. Then you'll get a towel and wipe it up, and your table will be clean. Be sure to put your cup for slip and your clay tool back where you found it too. Alfie's doing some cleaning up now too. He says thank you for watching and stay tuned for next time when we start your clay project.